Good day, everybody, and welcome to another edition of the Military and Foreign Affairs Network. I am your host, the Voice of Reason. Today, in this episode, this could be construed as a lesson in insanity. And uh, if you are a fan of the uh, of the uh, United States uh, democracy then uh, you may want to pay attention to what is uh, happening, especially in terms of this uh, recent uh, Federal Bureau of Investigation raid against uh, former President Trump's uh, Mar-a-Lago uh, residence in South, South Florida. So just a, a headline here. Uh, Trump FBI raid agents seize Mar-a-Lago documents in unprecedented move. That means... Uh, something like this has never occurred before. Uh, the FBI's decision to execute a search warrant at former President Trump's Mar-a-Lago home on Monday is unprecedented, especially for a non-sitting commander-in-chief and one who has indicated he might run again, uh, a former special agent in charge states. So again, uh, just a few days after... Uh, Trump had uh, indicated that there was a very good chance that he was going to run. Uh, we, we see this, uh, this operation uh, conducted by the, uh, the FBI. And much like uh, what we're seeing now uh, in uh, the United States military, uh, we are seeing the quote-unquote woke campaign uh, taking place uh, inside the, uh, the U.S. military. This is giving, giving uh, the, the, the left uh, its fingers into uh, the, uh, the military. And we know also that uh, uh, high-ranking generals are now acting more like chameleons and having to uh, either pretend to be uh, uh, gravitating towards uh, the, uh, the uh, left dynamic uh, in terms of keeping their uh, their positions, and we I think we've seen that with uh, with the General Milley, but uh, it's also being done uh, in uh, federal law enforcement agencies as well as uh, as uh, these uh, agencies have appointments that occur, and uh, and and quite often uh, individuals are placed in these positions of power based on their political ideology. But uh, that really is, is not... What, what really has my concern about the moral compass of Joe Biden, about what he is willing to do and wield his, his power, and those around him are willing to wield that power, goes back to something that I've talked about before in, in other episodes that... Uh, really, uh, I would say, agitated me. And that was the direct commissioning of his uh, drug-addicted son, Hunter Biden, uh, with a direct commission into the United States Armed Forces, the United States Navy. So if, if everybody, I, again, I want to rehash this real quick. Uh, Joe Biden... Uh, in his position as vice president, used his office to get his son, Hunter Biden, a direct commission. One, he was, he was too old to, uh, to uh, and he needed to receive a, a waiver to get a direct commission. And again, a direct commission is very, very rare. It's something that only happens... Uh, in, in, in very, very unique circumstances where maybe the, the uh, military needs a, a surgeon or someone with a, uh, a, a, a set of skills that the military just doesn't have at the moment and needs those skills. And uh, at the time, Hunter Biden uh, was an attorney. Uh, he uh, was not a, 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 a public affairs and information uh, uh, he, he doesn't have he did not have that background so thus he did not have a skill set that was uh, in in dire need 
by the U.S. Navy. And furthermore, he was too old. And then secondly, he had a history of, uh, of drug abuse. And both those needed a waiver in order for him uh, to be considered for a direct commission. Because remember, in a direct commission, you don't go through any uh, officer candidate school. There's no training process, a rigorous training process that uh, weeds out candidates that may not be able to perform uh, said said job or uh, uh, said specialty in the U.S. Uh, in this instance, the U.S. Navy. And uh, day one, day one, when Hunter shows up, he uh, he's tested because obviously individuals inside the Navy were very upset over this of uh, of uh, Joe Biden using his political power to get his son into uh, into office. And and I and I know I've kind of gotten off track, but this is a big circle back to what we're seeing now take place with the FBI in Mar-a-Lago. And I believe that whatever was taken out of Mar-a-Lago was not something that uh, was, uh, was, was, was some sort of just uh, minutia around the, uh, the National Archives that needed to be, preser- be preserved. I think they were looking for something. I think Trump, in all probability, has something that is very, very damaging to someone in political power, i.e. in the very close circle of Joe Biden. So we've seen Joe Biden utilize his political power to get his drug-addicted son a direct commission and then get kicked out uh, day one once he tested positive for, for drug abuse. He's a crackhead, he's a drug addict, and he should never have been given that, but he was uh, because uh, of Joe Biden and his lack of a moral compass in, 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 in doing what is right for the country. And in this case, what we're seeing right here in take place in Mar-a-Lago, again, something unprecedented, unprecedented has never happened before, where the FBI raids a former sitting president that could that could run again for office. So the question is, is what were they going after? What were they looking for? And again, in all probability, because of the political capital that had to be used to execute this raid, because look, they're getting a lot of pushback on this. And they knew that they were going to get a lot of pushback on this. They knew that uh, certain media outlets were going to be all over this, and, and even left uh, uh, center-left media outlets would be kind of asking questions as well. So they, they expended huge amounts of political capital to conduct this operation. So if it was just something about the National Archives that he didn't turn over, there was, there was different ways that uh, uh, could have been used to get that information. But I'm not so sure that was what they were looking for. I think it was something else, something very close to Joe Biden and Joe Biden's family, where he was then that he's willing to take that kind of risk to uh, uh, to, to again. It's just that lack of moral compass to do what's right for the country and uh, suit a personal need about one's own uh, own family members. And we know he's he's be, he's been greatly enriched. By his son's contacts with uh, with the uh, the uh, Ukrainian oil uh, firms and, and and what have you, and uh, he, and obviously that's being investigated as uh, as well. But uh, it, you know, if you look at at someone doing what's right and knowing that he's willing to pull strings and use political power to get a drug addicted son a direct commission and then you look what's happening right now with what happened in Mar-a-Lago you have to wonder what are they really going after down there what are they looking for because they're getting heat for this and the uh, the uh, the benefit has to outweigh the cost it's cost versus benefit and 
whatever they seized or whatever they were trying to get had to have more benefit than the cost of the execution of that operation by the uh, Federal Bureau of Investigation. And uh, again, I, you know, we can, we can talk about the FBI, but you know, ultimately it's been politicized. But even more than that, the FBI, you know, its, its roots, its, its origin story comes from a, uh, a paranoid bureaucrat, right, who, who created the agency and ruled that agency for decades. And I don't think the FBI has ever gotten over it. I really don't. I, I think uh, uh, it's, it, it is uh, set inside of the FBI now uh, in terms of, uh, of its uh, creator and founder. And uh, obviously you can do your own research on that. But uh, it was never uh, a completely upright organization uh, from, its, from its founding. And uh, again, uh, very, very uh, dubious activity uh, in the past and, and currently, uh, if it, in fact it was being used uh, as, a, as a weaponized political weapon to uh, what I think is, is not so much to, to damage Trump. Again, I think they were trying to get something that Trump had. And did they get it? Who knows? We'll, we'll find out. Uh, at some point, eventually. But uh, that's all I have. wanted to talk about that. It's all over the news right now, and that's just uh, my two cents and quite possibly another lesson in insanity. Have a good day.